Elon Musk is out to destroy the Wall Street Journal, one of the most reputable magazines in the United States. We know Elon. When he sets out against something or someone, he stops at nothing to pull it down completely using his Twitter handle, which he claims is a forum for free speech. Could this be the end of Wall Street Journal? You are about to find out, so stay tuned. Elon Musk insulted the Wall Street Journal's investigations editor by publishing a picture of himself with Google co-founder Sergey Brin in response to the newspaper's accusation that the Tesla CEO had had an affair with the Google founder's wife. From his tweet, it was evident that Musk has had enough of the Wall Street Journal, dishing out what he claims is false news about him in the bid to create a hit piece all the time. I have lost count of the number of BS attack articles the Wall Street Journal has written on Tesla and me. It is humiliating for them, to be honest, he stated in response to a Twitter user. The Wall Street Journal is meant to have a high standard for journalism, but they are now well below that. In another tweet, he added, the Wall Street Journal should be printing articles that genuinely matter to its readers and have a good factual foundation, not third-party random hearsay. Musk has vehemently denied the journal's allegation in a series of tweets after it had been published. The father of 10 attacked the allegation in one tweet, writing, This is pure nonsense. Sergey and I are pals that attended a party last night. I have only seen Nicole twice in three years, both times in large groups. There is nothing romantic. Musk tweeted the picture in response to an article supporting an earlier published allegation that he slept with Nicole Shanahan during Art Basel in Miami last December. Musk even dubbed the study a character assassination filled with nothing burgers minutes later. I work insane hours, so I don't have much time for pranks, he said. None of the major persons engaged in these alleged wrongdoings were ever interrogated. On the other hand, Sergey Brin's wife has denied having an affair with Elon Musk. Her lawyer issued a statement in reaction to the Wall Street Journal article citing unnamed sources, stating she had a short affair with Tesla's CEO last December while separated from Brin, a charge Musk has subsequently refuted. Make no mistake. Any claim that Nicole had an affair with Elon Musk is not only a blatant falsehood, but also libelous, Shanahan's attorney, Brian Friedman, told NBC News. According to the Wall Street Journal's sources, the alleged romance drove Sergey Brin to file for divorce from Shanahan early this year and the end of the tech billionaire's lengthy relationship. I spoke to Sergey yesterday and he swears neither he nor anybody he knows has talked to the Wall Street Journal, Elon Musk tweeted that day. Brin is yet to reply to his comments. We are confident in our source and we stand behind our reporting, a Wall Street Journal representative told in e news in response to his statements. The media reached out to Shanahan and Brin's representatives for comment but did not get any responses. Brin, the world's seventh wealthiest person, divorced Shanahan in January after three years of marriage, claiming irreconcilable issues, according to the Wall Street Journal. They also pointed out that his lawyer refused to comment on the newspaper's claims regarding the alleged affair. Are you feeling a little confused about what's going on? Well, let's have a closer look at it. There has been chaos between the Wall Street Journal and the billionaire buddies Elon Musk and Sergey Brin. According to the Wall Street Journal, Musk allegedly had an affair with Brin's wife, Nicole Shanahan. From their news update, the Wall Street Journal claimed that this alleged affair was the reason behind Nicole and Brin's divorce. Brin filed for divorce in January of 2022, alleging irreconcilable disagreements with his wife of almost four years, Shanahan noting their separation on the 15th of December. During the Art Basel event in Miami earlier that month, sources tell the journal that Brin and Shanahan's marriage was already in danger for other reasons and the alleged affair happened at the time. In addition, the Wall Street Journal also claimed that Musk went to one knee in front of Brin and apologized deeply for the violation. Brin accepted the apology but he hasn't spoken to Musk ever since. 
There were no interviews with either Brin or Shanahan. Still, sources claimed that Brin instructed his financial advisors to sell off his shares in Musk Enterprises. According to an update in the Wall Street Journal, Brin is said to have given Tesla approximately $500,000 during the financial crisis of 2008. Alongside the ongoing Musk drama, Brin and Shanahan are amid divorce negotiations and things are not about to slow down. Despite their prenuptial agreement, the settlement might be worth up to $1 billion. According to the same ranking, Brin is the 10th wealthiest person in the world with a net worth of approximately $95 billion. So, this settlement amount is nothing compared to what he has as his net worth. Shanahan is a California-based attorney and the creator of Clear Access IP, a legal technology company, and the BioEcho Foundation. One of the goals of the BioEcho Foundation is to advance reproductive longevity and equality, criminal justice reform, and a healthy and habitable world, according to its website. This is the most recent in a string of scandals that have been plaguing Musk's personal life. While he is well known for how he runs his various businesses, Musk, who is worth over $250 billion, has also drawn the media's attention with happenings in his personal life. Musk's SpaceX paid $250,000 back in 2018 to resolve allegations that he prepositioned and exposed himself to a flight attendant working on one of SpaceX's private jets, according to an Insider article printed in May of 2022. In response, Musk said that the charges against him were made for political reasons. Musk fathered twins, according to Insider, in November with a lady who worked for him at Tesla before being recruited as a senior executive at his brain implant business, Neuralink. Amid the controversy, Musk tweeted that he was working hard to alleviate the underpopulation catastrophe. Musk already had a 10th kid, a daughter, born through a surrogate to his ex-girlfriend Grimes when he welcomed the twins, his 8th and 9th children. When Musk sought to terminate an agreement to purchase Twitter this month, the social network filed a lawsuit and asked a Delaware court to compel him to buy the company. Musk has resolved to stay on Twitter and continue posting daily. But isn't being too active on the platform creating more problems for him? Will his decision help the situation? Fingers crossed on that cause with Musk, there is no telling what can happen next. Recently, he tweeted an amusing joke, hinting that he had been trying to persuade Twitter to reveal embarrassing material during legal proceedings. An image of Chuck Norris at the chessboard followed. Twitter's board has been pushed by supporters in Silicon Valley to let Musk walk away and shrug the entire situation off as Elon being Elon. In the midst of this, the Wall Street is preparing for Musk's SpaceX IPO and the commissions that will flow from anything else he tries to purchase. A former investment banker explains the familiar feeling among bankers by saying, the man is still worth billions and billions. There is no way you can ignore his calls when he wants to close the next sale. That's why Delaware counts so much. While the Wall Street Journal is going under fire from Elon Musk, Another litigation stemming from Musk's antics continues, and the Securities and Exchange Commission has ordered him to pay a fine. As a result, he continued on with a smile on his face. Whether he wins a legal case or comes up with another method to get out of a merger deal, he'll be sending a message to other would-be norm breakers if he does. Musk won't be the last billionaire to play around with his publicly traded firm if he succeeds in his bid. Do you think Musk has the power to pull down the Wall Street Journal? How would you react if you were in Elon's shoes? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.